Hey there YouTube, uh, today I'm going to come to you with a uh, ROM review. Um, this is for uh, Eugene 373's uh, Franken-Twiz Final for uh, the Samsung Galaxy S Captivate. And uh, here we have uh, my Captivate. And you'll notice, uh, kind of not wanting to focus, but uh, you know, your standard Android lock screen. Move that to silent it. Do it again to unsilent it. That way to unlock. So you'll notice that's there. And it's not a lock bot or any kind of application like that. It's the actual thing. Um, now this ROM uh, keeps a lot of the uh, touch whiz elements to it. Uh, like a, the application drawer. You'll see it's the same as the touch whiz. Um, this is 2.1 uh, still. And uh, I mean, it's exactly like it, except for uh, I think on stock 2.1 uh, touch whiz, instead of contacts being there, I think it's email or something like that. So that's the only difference down bottom. And the icons are see through um, for those three. And uh, comes with some nice wallpapers. Uh, as you'll see here, the Samsung wallpaper. Um, it keeps. Uh, a lot of the uh, touch whiz uh, widgets and uh, it's been a while since I've actually used stock touch whiz so I can't remember what all was actually there so I'm guessing the calendar was there I know this was here your feeds and updates that you scroll through your Twitter it's on that end gadget there um, then uh, your bookmarks let's see let's go this way uh, um, can't really see it because it's kind of see-through, but there's your power control widget, uh, your brightness, GPS, Bluetooth. Yeah, you won't be touching that GPS button. Um, GPS is still not fixed on this one. Um, I think there's actually a GPS fixed file or something like that you can do to try to fix it. I haven't even bothered with it. Um, so I come this way. Well, those are my Facebook and Twitters. Okay, uh, now this ROM comes with a beautiful widget already installed. Uh, not beautiful widget, a fancy widget, I'm sorry. And that's fancy widget right there. And then it comes with little notes and all that. And uh, then of course you still have your buddies now. So, he left some of the nice things here. Um, one thing I do like is it came with a with its own task manager. Um, you can just uh, hit the home button twice, pull up your multitask screen, and let's get it to focus here. And you'll see it slowly coming in task manager right there. Click on it, take you straight to it. Now I have zero applications running. So there's nothing in the list and then uh, from here you can uninstall applications that you have on your phone as well um, one feature I did realize that he did remove something I was a little fond of but I really you know no big deal was uh let's see let's get an app out here let's do angry birds light beta uh, I know before um, you could just drag your application down here to the trash can and hold it there for a second and then you'd have the option to drop to uninstall seems that's been removed no big deal um, this uh, this ROM comes with some really nice wallpapers <clears throat> I couldn't tell you where he got them from but uh, they're pretty nice I mean, nice high quality and they really stand out on this phone especially uh, let's see this green one right here once you put this ROM on your phone you'll understand what I'm talking about this camera is not really picking up the fact that this wallpaper is really really green like it'll hurt your eyes it's so green and then uh, pretty sure everybody's seen that one from some of uh, uh, Eugene's other ROMs San Francisco And 
and uh, that's the one that'll be uh, already set when you uh, first install the ROM. And uh, it still has uh, the live wallpapers and all that. I think he may have removed one or two. Alright, now my favorite part of this ROM. Come to settings. <coughs> Let's see, sound and display. I think that's where it was. Hold on, let me find it. Unlock screen. Now, this is one thing I really like. You have puzzle unlock, glass unlock, android unlock, and epic unlock. Puzzle unlock. Looks like the, uh, when you have a missed call, just drag your puzzle and it unlocks. Glass unlock is the uh, stock touch whiz unlock screen that everybody I'm pretty sure is used to. And then the Android unlocks the one I just I had on here to begin the video. And then the Epic. Not actually used one, so I mean I don't I have to take his word for it that this is the actually the Epic unlock screen. I mean it's pretty cool. Um, I think I'll stay with that one for a little while. Alright. Uh, side loading of applications is already enabled on this ROM, so you don't have to fool with any of that. All the AT&T bloatware is gone from this ROM. Um, make sure that he didn't, maybe he left a few or something like that, just make sure the most of them are gone. I guess Media Hub was one. I'm not sure though. I think that may have been a Samsung thing. And he had a Think Free Office for anybody who has any need for that. I don't, so I mean, somebody might <clears throat> get some use out of it. I know every time I try to use it, it says uh, no support for this device or, you know, something along them lines. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a really nice ROM. It runs really fast. It works even better if you put, you know, Launcher Pro or, you know, uh, ADW launcher, all personal preferences really. Uh, my cats are having a little bit of a war here. Well, uh, so, oh, before my camera dies and I run out of space, uh, the keypads that are here, you have. Swipe, Samsung keypad, HTC mod keypad, and Android keypad. So all those are included. Really nice ROM. Like I said, this is the final version for the Cap Captivate. And uh, I, I love this ROM to death. This is what I mainly use. So uh, give it a try. See what you think. Link will be in the description below. And uh, please rate and subscribe. And uh, any questions, feel free to uh, ask. Alright, y'all have a good day.